after you download the template it will be in a zip format you will need to extract it and after extract it you get these files and folders first thing that will do is we'll just double click on this font folder which is roboto so just simply select all of these font files right click on it and click on install i have already installed these so it's going to ask me to replace these files so i'll just click on no and basically just uh install that's how you install fonts inside windows operating system i don't know about the i don't know how to install fonts on mac so you just need to figure that out for yourself then you also have the assets folder it contains some images let's go back and uh, let's open up our project file and start editing our template so it's going to take some time so let's just wait for it to load up all right so once it loads up it's going to ask you to locate these files so uh, the very first file is like.png which you can find in the assets folder so let's just double click on the very first link let's browse for the location where you have extracted the file uh, so in my case it's in the desktop folders assets and then we have the like.png so just simply double click on it and hitfilm will automatically take care of rest of the files and it will relink it for you automatically provided that they are in the same place let's uh, start editing this template so on the left side uh, we have some folders so let's just uh, start by expanding the edit this folder so here we can see we have some composite shots so double click on the very first one which is channel image double click on that and you can see you just have to place your image of your channel in this composite shot so i'll just click on import and uh, i have this image right here so i can just drag this and just put it on at the top and if you want to you can go to transform and scale this down and make sure it fits in properly in the in this in this composite chart and we can uh, get rid of these two layers we don't want that anymore so we can just delete that then the next composite chart is info comp let's just leave it uh, as it is for the moment let's uh, change the main video comp double click on that and uh, we can get rid of these uh, two layers and just have to import your main video that will play from right from the beginning so i have this video right here i'm just going to drag it into this comp right click on it and the options and i want to mute this okay so uh, we have this video and that's how you can import or replace the video so if you go back to our render this comp you can see our video is right inside our animation and we also have the channel image right here then uh, we are going to go to the another comp which is next video one double click on that and this one you just you don't have to actually place your video footage in here you just you can just uh, simply put an, a thumbnail or a sim, uh, simple image still image so i can just drag in this image into the comp and get rid of these two layers and we can just right click and go to transform and set this to fit to frame and then we can close out of this go back to render this comp i can see we have this image right over here and we can do the similar thing with our next video too delete these two layers and just import uh, another still image if it's too big you can scale it down or right click go to transform and click on fit to frame and now let's start editing our title so for that you need to go into your info comp double click on that and uh, just for the sake of organization i'm going to move these images into another comp so let's just or into another folder so let's just drag these into the assets folder just for the sake of organization okay so for the title you just click uh, on this text uh, now the, your text box will appear and you can just select your text tool and just uh, highlight this text right here just like that uh, make sure you don't uh, select the views text so just select only your title and just begin typing whatever you want to type 
and for the views you can just simply select this or you can just simply select these two numbers and just change it with any kind of number that you want to display similarly uh, we have we can change this uh, text the likes text so you can see we have the these layers likes count and dislikes count so let's select the likes count select the text tool and and we can change this number to anything similarly with the dislikes count as well we can change that number to anything as well and then we have the channel name uh, so let's select this layer channel name select the text tool hit control a to select the text and uh, type in the name of your channel and i can see we have some issues right here we can't see the entire p letter so i can just extend this box a bit just like that there we go and uh, then we have the subscribers so the amount of subscribers select uh, this number right here anything you can change it with any kind of number and then we also have to edit the title or the description right over here so just click and then you can select the text tool and change the title over here and uh, we can also change the channel name and we can also change the views as well similarly we can change the description over here as well and if you go back into our render this comp you can see everything is updated in our in this and render this comp um, and one more thing that uh, is we can also change the text layers that will appear at the end so if you want to change uh, these text layers you can do that as well so uh, let's change that as well so we select the text 3 which is the very first text uh, I can just type in anything and you can do the same thing with this text as well if you want to hide the bell you can do that as well so we have the bell animation just click on this eyeball icon and you can just simply hide that animation as well and uh, lastly you just have to just simply render this out so just click on export and click on contents and it's going to take you to the export page where you can just simply export your animation so that's pretty much it that's how you can edit this template i hope you like this little freebie from my side if you did please don't forget to leave a like and also make sure you subscribe to this channel also turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.